We're also tracking big wind gusts and heavy rain in Pinellas County's coastal communities. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck joins us live in Treasure Island. And Sarah, conditions seem to be getting worse out there, right? Yeah, Wendy, we're really starting to see those big gusts of wind, especially within the last 30 minutes. Take a look. You can see how it's blowing through the palm trees, and really it doesn't look that bad right now, but that's the thing about these gusts. They come and then they go. Here at the beach, though, we're seeing a lot of that sand swirling as the rain starts to come down. We also found people spending hours today making sure they're ready for the storm. At Madeira Beach Marina, people spent the day securing their boats or hoisting them out of the water. Storm surge and heavy surf are expected to packed Pinellas County throughout the night tonight and Brian Crabtree wanted to make sure that he wouldn't have any problems. We started doing things last weekend uh, just because we had high winds last weekend so we were you know checking lines and getting things prepared anyways for high winds then so we were pretty uh, we we're pretty much a step ahead as than usual but you know you always got to be ready to go. Now we've seen some high surf all day out on Treasure Island, Madeira Beach and St. Pete Beach. Those waves are getting larger as the storm moves closer to our coast. Of course, the other big concern here in Pinellas County is for power outages. We're already starting to hear about a couple of those. Deputies will be out at several intersections both tonight and tomorrow morning, manning any of them that lose power. Reporting live in Treasure Island, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.